Hi friends, it's Liz here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I thought we would do a quick project using washi tape to make an easy greeting card. I'm going to be using some of my supplies I received from Stationery Pal recently. Do have the unboxing video if you haven't seen it and I will link that below. So grab your washi tapes and some card bases and we'll make some greeting cards really easy. I'm also going to be showing you the latest Daphne's Diary magazine. This is the Christmas version and it was sent to me by Daphne's Diary. So I'm so excited to share it with all of you. I will leave timestamps in the description box below so you can go back and forth wherever you would like to see first. So first we'll be making the easy greeting card with washi tape. Go and grab your washi tape and then um, we can see the magazine. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to check out the links below and on my blog for coupon codes and links to things that I am showing you in this video. Okay, my friends, for this quick project, we're going to need a card base. Uh, so grab your scrapbook paper, whatever you would like to make, some washi tape. Um, I'm going to be showing you some of the washi tape I received from Stationery Pal. So I've got my card base and then I've got um, white cardstock that I will use to make the design. And I'm just showing you the size of the card I'm using. I am not sure what size of card you have, so I'm just showing you what I have here. But of course you can make it any size you would like. Um, you've got your, I've got this white card stock. I'm not even sure, um, you know, the thickness or anything, but I'll be using that to decorate with the washi tape. And this happens to be the coffee themed one that I picked up um, during my haul. So I will be showing you quickly how I made the card and then we'll make one together. So this is what it looks like. If you add your sentiment, you know, wherever you want, you can stamp something on it or add a pre-cut sentiment to it as well. Uh, we will be making one, but this one, I don't know what happened to my video. So I'm just showing you what it looks like. Um, sort of putting it together, it's still in pieces. I haven't quite finished it, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like as is. So now let's make one together. I've gone ahead and cut my card, um, you know, top to size. Um, I don't know what card size you're going to use, but I'm just showing you what I've done here. And then I thought I would use some of these washi tapes that I received from Stationery Pal. And I thought I would just make another quick card. This one, I, I see these like trees as like, you know, kind of like Christmas trees. So I think I'm going to use there's like a nice stripe. So I think I'm going to use like the pink, the stripe, and what other color is there? Let's see if I want anything else. I don't know if I want to use the, um, this one. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so I think I'm just going to use some of these in the project and show you how I will start this process. So I hope you're all doing well, keeping safe. Uh, we've started with uh, looking at what's going to happen over the holidays again. Okay, so see how I just sort of angled it? I didn't even think twice about what the angle is going to be. I just decided to do that. And then here, I'm just leaving a little extra and cutting it straight. Um, if I can cut it, yeah, there we go, uh, because I will definitely be using that washi somewhere else and I want a straight sort of cut to start with. So there's that part. Then I'll do the pink, although there's not a lot of this pink, not a lot of pink. So maybe, and I'm going to leave like a little space between it so that it's almost like a stripe that's coming out of it without me having to, you know, make sure that I butt it right up to it because I think it's just so much easier if you leave a little space there. Okay, so there's that one. And then I like this little green one too. It's like a little green stripe, super adorable. I think I'll put that here. And I'm not sure, you know, what this card will be for. 
but I like that I'll have something ready to use. So I've got that here. So then I think I'd have to use pink up at the top again. I'm probably going to be finishing up this pink very quickly <laughs> because, like I said, it doesn't come with a lot on the roll. But that's okay. At least I'm using it up and it's not just, you know, going to be sitting in a drawer. And then I'll do the tiny green one again. And you can kind of see where, what I was saying about just angling it however you know you can make this wider if you want to leave like a nice you know stripe um sorry a nice space between your washi and the next stripe and this way it gives you sort of like a the from for this card in particular the white itself is almost acting like an additional stripe so it's like I've got you know the green with the the stripey there so I could you know leave it here I made this one a lot wider if you can see that but because it's washi tape I think you know what maybe I'll move this one down I just do that instead and that's what I love about washi it's that it's very forgiving and also that let me move that one out of the way and also that it's sort of like repositionable, you know? So I think that's about right. I mean, I could be trying to measure it a little bit better, but like I said, this was just, you know, a fun little way to make a, a card super quick, use up that washi tape and, you know, grab your sentiments. You can stamp something, you can decorate it a little further, I'm trying to decide what else I'm going to use for it. Maybe I will add a little bit more of the washi. Now we have these tiny little leaves here. And then there's like a more solid green. So I wonder if I do the, the solid green, maybe that would be kind of nice. So then the, the hint of pink is maybe what I'm going to focus on when I add my um, sentiment maybe so you can kind of see again it's just a it's just a super easy and fun to use up that washi tape I know before you know we used to have such difficulties uh, for me anyways I had such a difficult time finding the washi tape that I really wanted but now you know we seem to have a lot more access and it, see, it seems to be available in a lot more places now so it's kind of nice to to have that all right so here it seems like I've left a lot more space at the bottom than the top which is good because I think a sentiment going down there would be nice and then See how I'm just sort of wrapping it around? Because this way, I'm trying to find my base card again. When it goes on, you can barely tell. Like I haven't had to cut anything. It wraps nicely around the edges as well. So I think that's nice there. And then I think that's good. I think what I'll do is I'll add something pink to the top and bottom and then that will balance it off. And then this could be like a really nice thank you card it can be you know a thinking of you card doesn't necessarily have to be holidays like i had envisioned it but um i hope you get some inspiration or you found some inspiration i hope you found a different way to use your washi tape okay so next let's do the daphne's diary magazine flip through i was so happy to get this in the mail recently it is from Daphne's Diary, and I was super excited when I saw it. If you've seen my other video, they recently sent me their 2022 journal slash planner to review, and I really, really love it. I will link that video below if you haven't seen it. So here they've sent a couple of pieces to check out. I really am liking the thickness of their paper for these cards or 
uh, postcards that they have. And then they have sent me this really nice week planner sheet, which would be great to add into my journals or if I do have, um, you know, a separate planner to use as well. I'm really liking how the designs are there. And then this is really neat. It is a cut apart so we can make some holiday Christmas paper balls, which is really cute. That would be such a great thing to, you know, make with your grandkids or your kids. So here's the December issue. It looks really great already. And as you all know, I enjoy using their magazine to make my own journals and to use in my journals. So this cover already on the inside, I can see myself using the actual magazine cover to make some journal covers for myself. So let me just walk you through, just do a quick flip through of the December issue. And I'm loving the roses here. As you know, I, I sort of look at the magazine uh, to cut it up after I've read it and to use a lot of, you know, the images that are in it. If you haven't seen those videos, I will link them below. I show you how I use the magazine in my journals as well. Um, this one has little tags that are great to use as well for the holiday season. The paper is really nice and thick. And then here we've got another piece that you can cut out to make this little mousse, which is really cute. I like to also keep some of the cutouts this way as templates if I wanted to use them for something else, um, you know, to use them in different papers that I might have. And then when it comes to these types of images, I also cut them out just to use them maybe in my journaling. If it's an inspiration of an image, a color, a design, I like to keep those as well. And the borders of the pages are really nice to use as your own washi tape. And they happen to have washi tape in this issue or not washi tape. It looks like um, sticker strips, which is really nice. You can always use that, right? When you're decorating your December dailies. This is a really nice image as well. And I could cut out a lot of these pieces from what I see here. So this will be really nice to decorate the pages of my journal. As you know, I really enjoy doing that. And look, they've got a little mousse there that um, it could be like a place setting, which is another great idea. I hadn't even thought about that, but I'll probably be um, looking into that. I like these little teapot designs. And uh, uh, as many of you might ask me where to get the magazine, please check out their blog, sorry, their website. They will give you all the details on how to get the magazine. I used to get it at my local bookstore. I am in Ontario, Canada, and I usually go to my chapters, Indigo, and or sometimes Walmart has carried it. Um, but this one, as I mentioned, was sent to me by Daphne's Diary. So thank you so much for that. Lots of ideas on crafty projects for the holidays in this issue. And then this looks like it's a really nice uh, game that you can play. Cut out the cards and then just different things that you can do with it. And then some recipes as well. I've heard from a lot of the ladies that they cut out the recipes sometimes and put them in their journals. So that's another great idea to use those. And then last time I actually showed you with the planner what I did with some of the pages. So check that out because there's just always, you know, so many things you can do with magazines after you've read them and, you know, you've kind of seen whatever is inspiring you inside. This looks like a cute project. These could be added to your journal pages, but I think they come with the um, some of the phrases here in the back and I guess you can attach them to that. So it's almost like an advent um, ornament that you can kind of read every day, which is really nice as well. Oh my gosh, that little marshmallow, such a cute idea to add to your, you know, beverage in the holidays. That is actually really cute. I might use that for my kids. Um, hot chocolate this holiday season. And that's the um, the planner that I showed you. I have a flip through of the full planner, which is really lovely. I had never seen the planner before. I had not been able to get my hands on it. So I was quite happy to it. And I'm definitely going to be using it for the new year. Uh, we've got some additional recipes here. And then some really nice vintage looking images. 
these are so great if you're making a vintage style journal and now these happen to be my favorite so far um, i've seen them in a couple of their magazines and i love that they're adding these design papers scrapbook papers on the back so useful because we can use them for any projects that we want to um, of course they've got their own suggestions on what to use them for and then this is one of those big pullouts when um, looking at these, I can already see so many images that I would be able to cut out and use in my journaling, my creative journaling. I really like this one. I usually don't put up these posters, but I really do enjoy cutting them up and using them in my work. Um, you know, I kind of use it as scrapbook. And of course, this is another back cover that I would totally use to make my own cover for a journal. So I hope you enjoyed this flip through. Uh, questions, comments, leave them below. Check out my other Daphne's Diary magazine flip throughs if you're interested. And check out their blog or their website for details on how to get your hands on it as well.